All right. I'm not sure how this is going to go. This is the first time I'm doing it. This is the first time I'm doing this. So we'll check and see how it's going to go. So what the plan is that I'm going to do only English lives on YouTube live. I don't know for how long. I just started doing it. It just popped into my head because I wanted to say some of the stuff that I say in Farsi and English also because, you know, I learned it that way and it's more fun sometimes to talk about the things that you learned, the way you learned about them. So that's why I'm here. Um, there's six people here. I love this. This is always how it looks like when you start it. I love this stuff. I love to see things grow. I love to see when you're able to create something that wasn't there before. So uh, I think I'm going to keep these lives, YouTube lives, English only, just because I want to, because it's fun for me. And I wanted to, you know, have some sort of English material also. And here it is. So we'll see how this is going to go. 39 people already. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. All right, guys. I'm thinking about so many things right now. I'm telling you. So it's like when you start having an idea and you start cooking it in your head. Like you start just like throughout the day you think about it. You grow it. You develop it. You make something out of it thin air and then it's an idea so the idea that i'm working with right now is the energy is how to call your energy back how to own your energy and be able to just like yeah like withdrawing your energy your mental energy from something that you don't want to give your mental energy to does that make sense? Like so often we're giving mental energy to things that we don't want to be giving mental energy to. It's not that we're thinking because we would like to think about them. No, if we had the choice, we wouldn't have thought about them. But we are because we don't have a choice. And what does that mean? That means you're giving your mental energy away. You're giving mental, it's your energy, it's your life. It's the thing that runs you. It's the ghost in the machine. It's the juice. It's the electricity. You're spending that electricity, that precious resource that you have, the most important precious, the most uh, precious uh, resource that you have on creating anxiety, on creating fears, and thinking about the past, and blaming yourself for the 900th time, and just like a colossal waste of energy, a colossal waste of resource. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're, you have some very important resource under your control and you're just wasting it, you're hemorrhaging, you're just giving it away to thoughts from the past, thoughts about this guy and that guy and the memory that I've thought about, like you give it away to the future, that's the funniest thing, it doesn't even exist, at least past, you have memories of it, but the future, it literally is nothing, it's just nothing, what is, and think about it, you're giving your power away to the future, by worrying about it, by not trusting yourself in it, by all those things. And how do you withdraw this? How do you not give it away? How do I become commanding enough within myself that I can call my energy back? That's powerful. Now you want to talk about power? This is real power to be able to call your spirit back. I need this. I want you here. I want you within me. I want you under my control. You're my energy. I want you under my control. So that's what we're going to be talking about. If you like it, please tell your friends. Or if you don't want to tell your friends, it's all good. We're just going to keep doing these things in English a little bit. We'll find a rhythm. We'll see how often. But for now, it's just uh, the decision that's being made by uh, the guy himself. All right, let's read some of the comments. Okay, guys. Seriously, we're not going to come uh, like discuss this because I just like these to be English. So if you are interested in English, please come visit. And if not, it's not going to turn to Farsi. Okay. It's not that easy. Believe me, you're right.
Ah, good luck, Hossein. Hossein, I had a terrible day. All right. I had a terrible day the other day. I mean, I wouldn't call it a terrible day. I wouldn't say I had a terrible day. I just had a day that was a little off. But if you call those days terrible, they will be terrible for you. And we all have days that are not great and then days that are great. So it's just life. <laughs> it comes in a package deal. You either want it all or you don't want it. And you have it, so you might as well just enjoy it. Because what? just watch, just watch that your feelings about same things can be different in different times. Just pay attention to that. Like, same home, same place. I've, I've had so many different experiences in the same place, about the same place. I like it here. I love it here. I hate it here. How do I get out? And just pay attention to how flimsy and ephemeral, ephemeral these feelings are. They just come and go. And here's the catch. Here's the big secret. The key is not to have better feelings. The key is not to get better feelings. It's to get away from wanting good and bad feelings. It's just like, I don't, I don't, I'm not invested in that game anymore. I'm not playing that game. I know that feelings are ephemeral. I know they come and go. So I'm not even gonna like count on them. They are just like a river. It's just, it just passes. It just passes. Someday you're feeling great. Some days you're not. Who is the person who knows that you're having a good day, that you're having a bad day? Connect with that. Connect with that part within yourself that is aware of both of them. And is not changed. Like that doesn't, be, that part of you doesn't become happy. That's the part that just says, oh, happiness. But you lose that part and you go to happiness. You try to keep it. You try to, oh, it's so good. It's not so good. It's going to go away. As good as it feels, it's going to go away soon. Right? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. Life is such a good game. Life is such a beautiful, beautiful experience, really. All right, let's read some of the comments and then I'm going to just check out. That's what I'm working on, calling my power back. <sighs> calling your power back. That's a beautiful... Call your spirit back. You have to have command within yourself. You're the CEO of your company. You're in there. And when somebody asks you, why are you losing all this money? Why are we not successful? You're just telling them, oh, the past that happened and in the future, I'm afraid. Your explanations doesn't matter. You are losing power. You are, in real time, you're losing power. There's a leakage in the system. Your work is to start just patching up, patching them up. Take care of your energy. Take care of your energy. This is the most valuable resource you will ever have. All right. Oh, my God. Love you guys. Merci. Merci. Thank you so much. I'm checking out. I'll see you later. Thanks.